Hello, I'm Tripwire, and you are watching my very first OSRS guide. After watching the other herbivore guides available on YouTube, I decided there was room for a new, high-quality video that gives some advanced information on hunting herbivores. Most of the guides were hastily uploaded right after the update, but I have some things to add after harvesting nearly a thousand of them. Enjoy. Let's start with the requirements. To access this training method, you will need to have completed the Bone Voyage quest in order to get to the island. Herbivores also have a level requirement of 80. Things that are recommended, but that you should definitely use if you plan to do this for many hours, are stamina potions and magic secateurs. Staminas will of course allow you to run for a lot longer, and magic secateurs are going to increase herb yield from harvesting. If you can't use staminas, use super energies. Your gear should be the best weight reduction clothing you have. For most of you, that will be graceful. It's a bit of a pricey slayer reward, but you should also be using an herb sack to store all your herbs that you get from hunting these. Without an herb sack, it's going to feel like a bit of a chore. After you've completed the quest and arrive at the island, you can find the herbivore hunter area directly northwest of the shore that you land on. You begin tracking a boar from one of five objects, all of which are marked on your minimap. Three of these are rocks, one is a mushroom, and one is a piece of driftwood. They all have the option to inspect or to check how many herbivores you've harvested total. Now the way this tracking works is you begin tracking at one of the marked locations, and then every time you search an object, it has a chance to branch in a couple different ways. There are a finite number of combinations of branches, so before too long, you will learn the routes pretty well. After you get the hang of it, you will no longer need to search the tunnels. You'll just know that a herbivore is in there. And here's an advanced trick that I noticed while going for this pet. Each time you search an object and get your tracking path extended, it will give you an XP drop, but only if it is a middle step. When you begin a track or reveal the final piece of the path, there will be no XP drop. If you're paying attention, you can tell that you're on the final step just by the absence of this XP drop. For those of you that don't want to have to pay attention to such things, I will now show you the paths leading up to catching the herbivore for each location. Memorizing these will allow you to be successful in hunting herbivores efficiently without needing to focus too hard. Here are some miscellaneous tips to make your hunting more efficient or your experience smoother. Do not pick the ancient fungi. They are essentially big zygomites and will attack you, but more importantly there is still a delay while they jump out of the ground, where you won't be able to move for a few seconds. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes you'll be following the path like normal, and both of the obstacles that are supposed to direct you to the next step will say nothing seems out of place here. Simply search the burrow nearby. Another thing that can happen very occasionally is you'll be following the tracks for a while, and then upon searching an object, You'll get a message saying the creature manages to confuse you and get away. You'll get a small XP drop, but that particular track is over, and you'll have to start fresh. I've been told this is to prevent a bug causing an infinite loop. Immediately after harvesting a herbivore, begin the next track, then store your grimy herbs in the herb sack while you run. 
If you really want to be efficient, you could probably fit in some alking or dart making while you run between locations, though not all sections allow the same amount of time in between. When you are coming south down the eastern coast here, it seems that the eastern seaweed is more often the correct one to search. The western one is more often correct when heading north up the coast. Finally, let's talk about rewards and numbers. From this activity, you can expect to get a lot of herbs, random unidentified fossils, and pneumolite. The fossils may be identified and put in display cases in the Verok Museum in exchange for kudos, and pneumolite is a fossil island currency. Pneumolite is used for paying NPCs to do various things around the island, like watch farming patches or allow you to enter the underwater or volcanic mine areas, but most notably, pneumolite is used to charge the new ancient wyvern shield. The shield is fully charged by 25,000 pneumolite. The last of the rewards is the pet, known as Herbie, which is my reason for being here. Herbie has a drop rate of 1 out of 6,500. As for the numbers, I can easily maintain 140k hunter XP per hour at 99, even while streaming and being slightly distracted. I have not fact-checked this next figure, but I've been told that it can be up to 45k herbal XP per hour, though this figure will be more significant for Iron Men. I am mainly interested in the pet, but have also made more than 5 mil in herbs from my 1000 harvest count, as well as surpassed the 180 kudos mark purely from doing this activity. I hope you found this guide helpful and informative. If it is well received, I will absolutely consider making more guides in the future. If you want, you can subscribe to this channel, though I am a much more active streamer than video maker at this time. If you wish to support me in any way, you can find my links in the description. Thank you very much for watching.